If you want to get in contact with me, the best way to do it is on Instagram. If you just want to say what up, if you want to tell me you love my videos, you can tell me that you hate my videos, but the best way to do that is on Instagram. Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, 21-year-old rapper Houdini gets gunned down in broad daylight, and DJ Booth penalizes Gunner for doing whippets on Instagram. Let's talk hip-hop. Well, you see a young nigga in the street, and you look at his wrist, and you look at your wrist, and it's the same thing? Yes, sir. And we sky dwell it up. My man don't got a deal yet. He out here going crazy. That's how you feel him? Okay, the gang wave. All right, yo, this is crazy, right? Because... Um, Houdini, he's a rapper, he's from Toronto, right? He's up and coming and maybe, you know, some of y'all might not know of him, but a lot of people do and he's really popular, right? Um, anyway, that was Tory Lanez that you saw on the video with Houdini, um, but you didn't see Tory Lanez, you just kind of heard his voice, right? So the whole situation is that Tory Lanez was one of the first people who, you know, found out that Houdini had passed away and then he went on his Instagram to post up a memorial for Houdini. So he puts up this picture right here and he says, I'm trying i can't fight the tears from falling i can't even find the words uh for a speech right now y'all took my fucking nigga and all he wanted to do was live r.i.p houdini forever right and you see in this picture he has on the same outfit that he had on in that video clip that i just showed y'all um so this was all from the same night right um and the situation is that yesterday houdini in the middle of the day broad daylight like around four o'clock p.m middle of the day houdini is downtown toronto chilling um in front of a hotel and just um, shots get fired, right? And I don't know if they were aiming for Houdini or not, uh, but three people get shot, not just him. So him, a 15-year-old boy, and like a 29-year-old woman, right? Um, but when the cops show up at the scene, the boy and the woman are both gone, right? The only person that's there is Houdini because he's like really fucked up, right? So the, the ambulance take him to the hospital. He's in critical condition. Then they find the other two people a little bit later. They end up going to the hospital too, right? The boy is in critical condition and so is Houdini. Houdini. The girl, though, she's okay, even though she was shot, right? Or the woman, she's okay, even though she was shot. The boy ends up being fine, well, at least for now. Uh, he's still alive right now, but Houdini ends up dying from his gun wounds yesterday, right? Um, and all of this is horrible. Meek Mill actually went on Instagram and uh, dedicated something to Houdini, too. And right now, just a lot of people across hip-hop are just like, yo, this is insane. Like, another rapper gunned down in the middle of the street, right? Um, but yeah, man, that's all we know for now, y'all. Let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Alright, so I saw this a couple days ago on uh, Instagram, and I didn't really talk about it because it's not news, right? I mean, it's just gonna uh, doing whippets on Instagram Live, right? It was like a quick second, and then after he did, like, inhale that shit, he just, like, turned it off, right? Um, and it was just kind of weird because I'm like, who does whippets, right? Like, you know, niggas, we smoke weed and we drink, right? Like, and sometimes a nigga might hit some crack or something if you really want to get crazy with it and do some coke, but motherfuckers is doing all kind of fancy drugs right now, right? Right? Motherfuckers is on whippets, right? So I'm like, the only person I know to ever do whippets is like 15 year old boys that are like sniffing aerosol from cans in the bathroom or um, maybe like Steve-O. I remember Steve-O used to do whippets a lot, right? Um, and it, I mean, it's called hippie crack for a reason, right? It just messes with your mind. I, you know what? I'll let Steve-O explain it to you. They call it hippie crack for a reason. It is dark, man. I think it reduces your uh, B12 or something where like crazy hallucinations kick in. Just tell me what to call you. There were just people walking through walls. Like one dude that was never there picked up my bong and took a bong hit. And he was like, whoa, yeah. <laughs> I put it down and then walked right back through the wall. What the fuck? I had an whole intervention where people walked in and they sat down to like formally like, hey, you need help, and they were never there. I fucking hallucinated an entire intervention. It's on my first comedy special, that was one of my jokes. Uh, you know you have a problem when your hallucinations are worried about you. 
basically you're inhaling a chemical called nitrous oxide that really, really, really fucks with you, right? Um, and I don't know why Gunner is doing this. I don't know how long he's been doing this, if this is new or not, nah, right? But it's funny because, you know, a couple days ago, he puts up a video on Instagram of him and a bunch of his niggas to include Young Thug, all of them with their own can of whippets balancing on their heads, just like, yo, we chilling, we high, we fucked up, right? Crazy ass shit, right? So then um, DJ Booth actually goes on Twitter yesterday and says, we removed a recent tweet promoting Gunner's Genius interview this past Friday uh, in light of the inappropriate behavior on Instagram Live on Monday. DJ Booth does not condone the use of whippets or any other aerosol-based drugs, right? So then, of course, a lot of people were jumping on Instagram and Twitter saying that this is clout chasing and everything because why are you chastising Gunner for doing whippets when, you know, rappers uh, drink codeine and talk about Adderall and pop pills and all that's okay, but when Gunner does the whippets, um, you don't want to, you know, promote his new album that just came out, right? Um, and I hear all of that, right? I really think that it's just weird, the, the drug of choice that he decided to do, and I think that's what has everybody like, what? Like, people in hip-hop especially don't do or even really know about whippets like that, so it's like, you're doing some other shit, my nigga, like, you, if, um, I think that people would have felt better if they would have saw Gunner sniff a line of coke on Instagram Live versus doing a whippet because at least we know what that is, right? Um, but anyway, <laughs> let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Hey, hey, say that. All right, so that was people rioting in Minneapolis uh, in response to the killing of George Floyd, right? Um, I do have a third segment for you, but it ain't gonna be on YouTube because of copyright reasons and Disney owning YouTube, and this is gonna get controversial. So y'all should go over to my Instagram for the third segment, at Johnny Fastlane. Um, let me know what you think about everything uh, in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Follow me at Johnny Fastlane on Instagram, and y'all already know what to do. Peace.